and welcome to Spirit Forest. I want to thank you for clicking on this video. I don't normally post um, painting videos, but it is part of my life, and as this is a vlog, I want to show you that part of my life. Painting, to me, gives me a lot of peace. It, it takes me away from my technology, and I can just paint, and I can create this whole world that is truly just my own. And a lot of times in my paintings, my feelings come out in it, and my thoughts and my, you know, a lot of me comes out um, in, in the paintings. And as a, that painting that you saw, it was a gift for somebody. <laughs> I say a gift for you, but I actually gave it away as a, um, as a holiday present um, to somebody who really likes to ski. And I was kind of looking for more of a, a vintage type you know those posters, those old ski posters? That's kind of what I was going for, but that's not really my style. Um, my style has a little bit of a cartoonish kind of look to it. I don't know why, but every time I try to get away from the cartoon look, it still comes back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what my style is. It's, it's how I paint. It's probably how I see the world um, in this kind of fun, creative, uh, lots of colors type type feel. And I um, wanted to share it with you. I've been requested multiple times on my channel to show the paintings that I have in my home. And so that's what this is about. So now you've got to see how I created a painting. What I do is I'll go out and I'll buy a canvas or I'll use a canvas I already have. So I have a lot of paintings that I've done that I just don't like anymore. Um, or maybe my, my budget is really small and so I just don't have uh, the funds to go out and buy another canvas. So I'll use a canvas that I already have of a painting that I don't really like that much. And that's what you saw on this last one. It was of a painting I didn't really like that much and it was time to paint over it and uh, I was able to um, give it away as a gift for the holiday. In that painting as well, I added little characteristics on each one of the skis, and uh, one of the skis was this person's skis. So it was his actual design of the skis that he uses, and I think he, he really enjoyed that. And then the other skis also represent other things in his life as well. It's um, something that I like to incorporate in all of my paintings. I do like to have a meaning, a purpose for it. So what I'd like to do, because it's what you've asked and what you've requested, is I was going to go around my house and show you the creative stuff that I have in my house, um, the, some of the stuff that I made. And, uh, and some of it has stories to it and some of it doesn't. And um, I will stop and, and talk about the stories when we get to that point. Since I'm, I'm right here, I'm in my bedroom right now, and um, I have my little bears here. This is, uh, these are actually going to my cabin, so these are going to make it all the way to the cabin. These bears are actually made by my mom. Um, gosh, when did she make them? 97, maybe? 1997 is when she made this bear for me. Uh, she knew I liked bears back then, and then she also created another little bear and another bear for one representing um, each each one of my daughters and I thought that was cool and obviously I got those when the, the children were born um, but it's really cool and they always just stay on my bed but they're coming to the cabin I just wanted to show you that because it just kind of shows you that my my family's very creative my mom is very creative as well as Kyla in regards to more of the the crafty stuff like this is not something I I would find that very stressful to make a bear, but my mom loves that kind of craft stuff, and so does my daughter, um, Kyla. And my other daughter, Madison, likes to paint just like me. It's kind of funny how that works, isn't it? Okay, so again, once since I'm in my room, I'm going to show you the art that I have in my room, and we're going to go with this painting first that's right behind me. So I'm going to move the camera so we can see it a little bit more. I truly understand that it's not the best lighting for you, but you get an idea with this one. This is actually has become one of my favorite paintings um, that I've done, and it has so much meaning to me. I was painting a lot right after my divorce, and this was the painting that I painted for me, and um, it was a time in my life where I was very sad, and because I wasn't able to have my kids. Um, with me all the time so it made me very sad and so I came up with this painting 
Um, and like I said, it kind of has a little bit of a cartoon, kind of flowy. I like a little bit of color in this one. Not as much color in my as you would see in my other paintings, but still has some color in there. The reason why this is such a in a focal place of my house, um, in my bedroom, is because every day it reminds me of where I was and where I am today. I was feeling at this point a little defeated, you know, like um, I couldn't win and there was nothing I could do. And today, now that, you know, I purchased this land up in the mountains and, and I'm living my dream, it reminds me of where I was again. And, and, uh, and, and maybe I create another twin painting that goes along with this, I think would be a lot of fun to, to have them together of just kind of showing emotion. And those of you that aren't familiar with horses, they, they definitely do show emotion. And I was really trying to show it in this, in this painting. For those of you that know my channel, you know that daisies are my favorite flower. And so I just absolutely love this. I feel that daisies are the flower that smiles. And this one I feel has a lot of energy and character to it. I think I painted it, pretty sure I painted this painting while I was pregnant with Kyla. And as you can see the pink wall and such, uh, this is Kyla's room. And so this is now Kyla's painting that she'll be able to take with her to um, wherever she ends up going on her journey. This painting is a, it's a very large painting. It is um, above my stairs, if I can kind of give you an idea and perspective how large this painting is. I painted this painting when I was um, living outside of this house for a little bit. It was again during my time of my divorce I painted this as I was looking for happiness and color in my life I also put this in the condo that I was living in at the time uh, before I bought this house and moved back in but to me it represents just trying to find happiness and again this is using sunflowers but still it, it portrays a, a very happy feeling is what I was going for this painting that was painted um, for Madison, this painting I gave to Madison. However, she's the type of person that likes to change her room every, I don't know, three months. <laughs> so this painting has now make it to my office, but uh, this is her painting to take with her if she feels like it. Again, you can kind of see that cartoonish approach to my drawings, even when I try not to make a cartoon. It does have that kind of Alice in Wonderland kind of feel to it. I think Rocky wants to go outside. There you go, buddy. Bye-bye. Kind of giving you a little bit of a story of my life a little bit. Didn't realize it. It's all in my paintings as I talk about them. But this painting was created after my divorce. And then once I purchased this house from my ex and moved back in to this house. So this was my attempt it trying to make us all a family again um, in a painting <laughs> and it's kind of represents how I see my future too so I think it's I think it's really nice I really like it now I'm gonna point a bit so you can kind of see but I have some nice um, red flowers down here and this house actually represents me uh, or my house this one right here and if you Notice my kids kind of helped me with this painting and they said that I needed to add a little cake uh, for my birthday for this house. So I added a little cake and then they said I was really old mom. <laughs> and then I needed water because my cake's gonna be on fire. So there's a little bucket with some water in it so I can, uh, so I can put out my cake that's on fire. Now my kitchen design is more of like a Tuscany type design. 
and that's why I painted this and I hope that this painting will go into my next house that I or a little condo or apartment whatever it is that I end up doing I don't know what I'm going to do yet um, will go into there and then I can continue my Tuscany type kitchen and it will fit with that and then oh you got to see so right there is a little bike and that is from, I can't remember which kid's bike that is, but um, I do have my kids. This is one. Um, I think that is Madison's house right over there. And she wanted to have a vineyard um, next to her house. And then Kyla's is up here on the hillside, up there. And then I included their daddy's house way over there. <laughs> And they wanted to give him an extra garage because he's, they said that he's got a lot of stuff, so he's going to need an extra garage. But the story of this is me trying to incorporate, again, the whole family together um, in one painting. Even though I am divorced, we are still a family, and I say that a lot on my channel. And that is kind of what this represents to me. And this happened, um, you know, within the first year or two. Um, from when I was divorced as I was trying to, you know, just be happy again with my new future and my new life. Here is my favorite painting of my, <laughs> I guess, divorce collection. Um, this one I actually painted before I moved into this house and I painted it to represent my new journey with my daughters by myself, um, with them of course and so you'll see here try to zoom in a little bit there I am and then we have Kyla did you know that was Kyla <laughs> and then we have Madison yes Madison's wearing a dress but that's kind of what they looked like at the time I was doing this painting um, they were just little girls and I painted this as you know we kind of walk down this little path and and we're heading on into our new future together. I do have here, uh, represents our, well, this is our initials. So we got Tammy, Madison, and Kyla over here. And then on this side, I have a bear claw. Now I had some more things on this painting as well. And I'm gonna back up to give you a chance to see if you can find some more items on the, the painting. So you can hit pause or whatever and then I'll show you what things I hid in, inside this painting. So next to the initials, here we have a mom, a sister, and a baby. So we have three bears. Do you see them? It's kind of hard to, it's not the best lighting and I understand that. Were you able to see them when I showed you the painting before? Yeah, I like to hide things in my paintings. If I have enough time, I do. And then over here, did you see that? Do you see the eye, the nose, the mouth? Well, I always give my kids uh, spirit animals is what I've given them. And Kyla is a tiger for a spirit animal. And Madison and I are bears. And, uh, and it just happens that I just wanted to add a third bear there because it just, it fit really well and, and I really enjoyed that, so I added that. So that's a, a bit of a tour of the paintings inside my house that I have been requested. Now, what you don't know is that I mentioned on a couple videos and those that have subscribed to my channel know this too, that I'm trying to raise funds for a cabin, you know, and I'm trying to do it in any way I can. And one of them is to sell my paintings. And uh, some of them I get attached to, some of them I'm not that attached to, you know, and I'm just like, here, take it, you know, and, and I'll get funds for it. And I think it's really great that, that people would want to buy my painting. And uh, so I've sold about four or five paintings recently, again, uh, for funds for the cabin. Now, I'm, I'm going to be downsizing a lot, so it's actually a good thing that I'm selling these because I don't know where I'm going to hang them. Because, <laughs> like... The cabin's not that big and I don't know where all this stuff is going to go. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening or where these paintings end up going. I, I don't know. Um, the pa paintings that are in the house right now, I think I'm going to get rid of um, 
I think I only have like one more, which is maybe that Columbine that I would probably get rid of and then uh, probably see what I can do to keep the rest of them. Um, I do get asked to do murals now, which has been kind of fun. It's been a fun journey as the canvas is huge, you know, and I'm using different paint and it's been, you know, it's been an adventure. So here's some, some pictures of some murals, uh, the two murals that I've done, and I will be doing another mural this year again to, to raise money for my cabin. I've been asked to do another mural that um, I'm hoping to get done this spring. So who knows where my future is going to be? I don't know. Like I am really changing my life and I did try to sell my paintings in um, a gallery. I have such a unique approach to my paintings. They're not all the same. Yeah, they have that kind of characteristic of me in it, meaning that cartoonish look, but I do like to experiment on different kinds of paintings where a lot of artists that are in galleries, they, they really keep it kind of consistent um, throughout their paintings. And, um, when I was trying to get in galleries, I noticed there was an issue with that. I, I don't know, maybe I'll be in a gallery somewhere in the mountains or something. You never know, because I actually have a spot in my cabin that I am planning to have an art studio. Um, it's a small little area, but I do plan on having a place where I can paint because that is that is part of me, you know, it's part of what I like to do. Um, not always just painting on canvas, but um, painting on other things too. And as if you, if you saw my backpacking video, I did mention that I really want my cabin to be me, to feel like me when you walk in. Not the, not the vanilla type house, but the Tammy house, you know? So like when you walk in, you're like, you feel me. And that's really what I want my cabin to be. And I'm going to be painting all over the walls. You know, I might even paint a mural in a place because I can, you know, it's mine and I can just do whatever it is I want to do with it. And uh, yeah, this house is that way too, but, um, and I don't know why I didn't do it. Maybe I should have, I don't know. Never know. You never know. I might just pick up a canvas, start, <laughs> start painting on the wall. You never know. I haven't known to do some weird things sometimes, but uh, I want to thank you. I know I'm getting a little wordy, but I, I want to thank you for, for watching this video. I know it was different, and uh, I have been requested um, to show you some of these, and uh, some of my patrons, too, have requested to see some of my paintings in a little bit more um, inside my real home. And uh, so here you go. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next video, which I think is going to be me backpacking again. I think I'm going to go winter backpacking again. So I hope to see you on that video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.